What's going on guys? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. Hope everybody's doing well. It seems like it's going to be a beautiful day here in Kansas City, about I think like 93, 94. Another day mowing solo. Uh, Grant I think is going to help me out though later today when he gets off of work. My foot, dude, and I can't show you, but my foot is still, it doesn't hurt all the time, but it's like if I push on the top of it, it it's like just killer pain. So. I'm trying not to be a baby about it, but man, you gotta take care of yourself. And like, my foot really, really hurts. So, just not a, it's just a rough week. So, like I have always said, just stay positive and keep working hard. And next week will be better. Tomorrow we will be better. And two weeks from now, it will be better. So, just keep working through whatever your problems are. And, uh, Everything will work out, man. What are you doing? Sorry, I was playing uh, Vikings War of Clans. It's an addictive game. Let me tell you why. Vikings War of Clans was inspired by the famous strategy and RPG games of the 90s and 2000s. What makes Vikings World so addictive is that more than 20 million online players are constantly changing the way the game evolves by never ending fighting over resources, forging new alliances, and competing in live events. Vikings is at the top of the charts right now. Support my channel by downloading Vikings for free using the links in my description or the link on screen. Guys, with that link, you'll get special bonus of 200 gold coins and a protective shield. Don't forget to look me up and join me on Vikings at BB Lawn Care KC. Guys, I appreciate Vikings for sponsoring this video and make sure you check it out. Don't play it while you're working, man. The boss will get mad, but it's addictive, and I really appreciate you guys and them for supporting the channel. Anyways, guys, let's get back to work. Why do you double cut? Well, most yards, just to make it look good, or there's grass sitting on top if it was too tall. With the Gravely, I'm not perfect at striping yet, so I have to double cut it, cut it to stop the stringers. S wait, Stan Genetic, how do you say Gravely? Gravely. Interesting. Huh? Ah! So like I said, Grant should be coming here in about two hours to help me, and uh, Jeremy, you guys have seen him, I don't know, maybe once on my channel, but a few times on Andy's channel. Another guy locally here, he texts me and he's like, hey man, uh, let me know what you need, man. We'll help you out, send us a list, and uh, I'd be happy to get some of the yards done. So that is gonna be a huge help, so shout out to him. And uh, that's Keeper's Lawn Care in Kansas City. And, uh, that's gonna help me out, man, just to take like 10 yards off of my plate this week just just so I can get everybody cut, you know what I mean? Like, I'm only, I'm, I'm one man managing, you know, trying to get done what it takes three or four guys to get done and work. So, <laughs> to be able to have, a, uh, you know, a buddy's company come in and kinda help me out a little bit because guess what if if there's a day he needs help 
needs something, a mower, whatever, I could give that to him. You know what I mean? So it, it's playing off of each other and helping each other out, which is a big thing. So um, guys, be cool with your local people, man. That's all I can say. You, you will need people, man. You will need people. There was a point in my life where I thought I wouldn't ever need anybody. But as you can see, I own multiple trucks. I own multiple mowers. I own a house. I, you know, all this stuff. And I still need help with things. There's still weeks that I need help. There's still things I don't know. So keep your ears open. Keep your mouth shut sometimes and listen to people's advice. Listen to people. Be polite, be positive, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna eat my turkey. I, I switched up this week. We went to the store. I got turkey instead of chicken. You know, switch up things a little bit here and there. Instead of Colby Jack cheese, I went with a little bit of a mild cheddar. And uh, I'm gonna throw that down real quick catch up on emails, and then I'm gonna get back to cutting grass. guys also Grant the famous Grant it's been years since you've appeared on VMV man year two, two years two years yeah two years since Grant's been uh, in a video man lots hey. changed in two years bro work <laughs> huh work in school yeah but you've done these yards a million and a half times and they so, all suck with you. <laughs> you're back home, man. Grant, did I even have an enclosed trailer last time you worked? No. No, dude. No. I knew a lot changed. But he's known about all this stuff. It's not like I just went and found him at Home Depot or something. Come on, man. All right, we're doing bam and bam, okay? What is that thing? Dude, that is a Redback trimmer with the power rotary scissors attached to the end. Grant, that was your first group of three in like two, two years, yeah, two-ish years, probably over two years. How was it? It was hot. Hot? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Tell the people, the original viewers or new people, what you've been up to after B&B. Uh, I've actually been enjoying life, so that's pretty good. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, I've been working construction. I've had three internships with uh, Cross on Construction. Mm-hmm. Been doing that, and that's what I'm gonna do after Building school. hotels. Building hotels, and Sunfresh, which is like Price Chopper, and I'm working for a water company now, so. Fun nice. stuff, yeah. Bunch of concrete. Have you been hanging out with Mr. Blake Albertson? When he texts me back. Whenever I <laughs> find time in my busy schedule for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, something <laughs> like that. Cool, dude. Yes, sir. So it wasn't that bad. You want to come back to mowing, or are you gonna keep me in in, in, uh, in construction? Uh, I might come back to mowing after school, but not while I'm in school. Yeah. <laughs> that means he's. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grant. We just finished up our last yard. You're getting the hang of it again, aren't you? Kinda. 
kind of getting there. Yeah, it's like riding a bike. You never forget how you like the work truck. Eh. I like it, man. It's it's good truck, but it's for sale for the right price. You want to buy it? <laughs> huh? No. Why? Uh. Grant, everything is for sale for the right price. Everything in Everybody life. Everybody has their price. You know, when I was a younger boy, I tried buying a uh, Kate Upton, like a bit, it was like a six foot tall Kate Upton poster from like, uh, gosh, what's that? Like, for, like, it was like a Forever 21 or some store like that. Why were you in there? I don't know. But <laughs> young men do weird things, man. I just want a six foot picture of Kate Upton. Yeah. yeah. You know, anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Oh, wait. It was a long time ago. I have some advice. What? Don't buy Kate Upton posters. Don't go into Forever 21. Yeah. Second off, if a friend asks for help, help him. Because it's going to, you're one day you're going to need help. And if you're kind of a jerk, nobody's going to help you. I like that, Grant. I appreciate the help, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, sir. Anyway, what was that look for? Huh? <laughs> Huh? It's just weird. You said thank you. Huh? No, I'm saying... <laughs> oh, to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? You're not used to that? No, not yet. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I appreciate it. Anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace!